is my Volvo light for my XC90. Somebody's spliced something in here. It's not pretty. And then gone through the back of this. Look at that big gob of silicone. Amateurs. My goodness. Huh. I'm going to try and fix this. Oh my goodness. That is just a wire twisted on. That's outrageous. I got to solder that on. I'm sure this other one is the same. Ah. Crazy people. That's what happens when you cut holes in your lights. Moisture gets in. And then it stays in there. I've got the light hanging on the fan, the fan blowing into the light, and hopefully, ah, in a couple of hours, that'll be dry. Hopefully. Can't get in there to wipe it out. On my way now to the tire place to get my tires put on club parked in the shade here I'm using this back to black stuff to do all my rubber trim make it black again it kind of works it's not a hundred percent but a funny thing just happened the cabin fan just came on in the car as I was doing this key in my pocket cabin fan came on blowing high no reason. No reason why. I had to put the key into the ignition, turn it on, turn it off, and it stopped. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but, uh, oh well. well uh, I'll keep going. That's all I can do. I've got a bunch of, this has a lot of plastic on it. I want to make it look good. Get rid of these little marks. Okay, and then I can send it off to get detailed. That's one clean bubble. I'd switch around my uh, O2 sensors before I left. That's the one code I had was the P0040. Now I've got four codes. P50 is the second code. 40P and then 50P. I wonder, well, I'm gonna have to switch them back and then one of them is switched. <laughs> what a pain in the butt trying to figure that out. Okay, I better get out of that. Placing these little bulbs, they're uh, 2825s. Both lights had these bulbs burn out. That's pretty interesting, I don't know why They'd both be burnt out, but they're replaced now. I'm, uh, I'm drying my light in front of the fan. It had a bunch of fog in it uh, because it's been open from the big hole in the, the back of the cover that uh, Buddy stuffs the wires through. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what he was thinking, but anyways... Uh, I've got to fix this, so I'm going to scuff this up, and I've got a piece of plastic here, it's just a windshield washer bottle, scuff it up, plug the hole so that uh, I can stop water from coming in. My plan of uh, putting that piece of plastic on, I've gone with the hack job, I may as well, if you can't beat them, join them type of thing. The bigger the gob, the better the job. Silicone. Yes, the bigger the gob, the better the job. What a motto. <laughs> so, that'll actually work the way I've done it. The way they did it, it wouldn't. But they didn't do any surface preparation. They just stuck it on. I sanded. It's a mess. It'll have to work. It'll do until I can get some new lights. 
We're watching the women's soccer Canada against Germany. Our neighbor, Jesse, is on the women's team. Oops. Well, I've got uh, one late drying. That's why the car looks like that. One light in, one light out. Got hanging up in the garage, drying out. It's hanging actually on the fan. The fans. Oh, the fan's not running so. I'll let it run all night and it will dry out the water that's in the light. Then I can seal it back up and uh, put it back in the car. We're good to go. Tomorrow is race day. I've got some stuff uh, I've got to do in the morning. Then I'm going to go off to the yacht club, wash my boat and race my boat. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll do the afternoon race. Probably the evening one too if there's wind. Look forward to that for sure. Thanks for watching.